As Gainesville leaders look at budget cuts, staff are asking for advice for Ironwood Golf Course. But as TV20's Cameron Lund tells us, it will stay a public course for now. We are clearly not going to talk about selling a golf course today. A phrase that relieved Gainesville golfers who attended Thursday's meeting once they saw Ironwood update on the agenda. It's Gainesville's only publicly owned and operated golf course, but things could be getting chippy for residents who enjoy using Ironwood. Rangers at the course say 70 to 100 golfers come through daily during morning to early afternoon shifts alone. City manager Cynthia Curry put the course under management watch, and some commissioners think it would be one of the needed cuts to help hack at G are used more than $1.7 billion debt. From the numbers I see, it does not look like it is just about to break even. Um, and so it still looks like it is a, uh, you know, a net subsidy we have to. And of course, I've argued most folks don't have to, you know, full pay for themselves, and I support that. Leaders and staff are referring to the figure they presented today, saying the course lost more than a million dollars over the last three and a half years. What isn't included in that deficit are the amount of groups that use the East Gainesville course and events that happen there. Ironwood is used by Gainesville and Lotswood County Schools. It's also one of the courses where North Central Florida athletes in the Special Olympics train. Well, in Columbia County, uh, we have um, about 15 to 20. Uh, in Gainesville, we have up to 30, 40. Uh, Marion County, about the same. Cost-saving measures such as closing or selling Ironwood would eliminate access for many of these golfers. Because, like I said, there are a lot of other programs around the state that don't have what we have here in uh, Alachua County at Ironwood Golf Course. And if we were being charged uh, for what we received, I just don't think that we can have the magnitude of the participation that we have. And as golfers wake up and head to the links, city leaders hit the dais and discuss how to shoot under par with JLAC and a state board soon looking over their shoulders. In Gainesville, Cameron Lund, TV 20 News.